Okay, this is part three of a Word, chap module five, textbook project, Jackman resume. And uh, on my particular document, uh, I found a couple of spelling errors. One was a participant and the other one was phone, so I corrected those. And now we're going to go ahead and get started. I also believe that this needs to be centered, but I'm not going to mess with it right now. Uh, I opened the file and it was like that, so I need to go in and check that just a minute. So sharing a document with others. You may want to share Word documents with others electronically, such as a via email, a USB flash drive, or a cloud storage. To ensure that others can read and, uh, and or open the files successfully, Word provides a variety of formats and tools to assist with sharing documents. In this section, the Jackman resume created in this module use this section uses the Jackman resume created in this module to present a variety of formats and tools. So we're going to go through many of these, but the big thing is, is that to remember where you need to upload the file at. So I'll get to the point where we upload the file. So to insert a quick part, they want us to insert a quick part as a draft, or the draft uh, quick part watermark. And we already know we can go to design and we can go to watermark and insert it this way. But uh, this one, wants us to use the uh, quick parts, so we'll learn how to use the quick parts. So it says display the view tab. And we're going to go to, oh, this is just to zoom it so we can see everything. So one page. And uh, then click the quick parts button. So we're gonna go to insert, and then our text here, and then quick parts. And then we're gonna go to the building blocks organizer. This is the building block organizer. And it says click the gallery heading building blocks organizer dialog box. The reason why you'd want to click this is that way it alphabetizes them. Normally yours would look like this. It's alphabetized by name. We're going to click on the gallery and alphabetize it by the gallery name. And now we we'll want to go down to scroll through the building blocks to list the watermark group. You can click on any of these and see the different quick parts that are built in, all the different types of footers that are built in. Uh, different page numbering. We've talked about that before when we do our footers and headers. Lots and lots and lots of those. There's buttons to make us do that. And then now it wants us to click on the draft one watermark. And then it wants us to insert it. Mine was already inserted because I forgot to delete it before I started working on this assignment. And there we go, Dwayne Jackman. Okay, so it is left aligned. I was correct in that. And now we have the draft watermark. Okay, if we wanted to edit the properties of the building block element, you could go in and do that. Uh, you click the quick part buttons, click on the building blocks organizer, select the building block you wanted to edit. Then you could click the edit properties and modify it. Uh, edit any property, uh, then you click OK and close the building box organizer. But we don't really need to do that. It says if we wanted to do it. So turn the page. To export a Word document to a PDF file and view the PDF file in Adobe Reader. I highly, highly recommend that this is the way you do it when you share a document. This PDF is worldwide recognized and anybody can open a, a PDF with a Adobe Reader for free. So it'll automatically look the way you want it to look. So, okay, open the backstage view and then click export. File and export. There it is. And then uh, I have Adobe PDF uh, installed on my computer, so I have that as an option. You may not. So you can create a PDF with Word. Word will actually do it for you, too. So click on that. Then we're going to click on the Cre Create PDF uh, XPS button. Then we're going to navigate to the desired save location. I'm just going to put it in here in my Documents folder. Jackman Resume. I'm going to leave the same file name. And the reason it can be the same file name is because it's a different file type, PDF. Now, I already have one saved, so I'm going to get a message saying, hey, do you want to overwrite it? But you may not get that because this is the first time you're doing it. So if necessary, save as file type. Ours is PDF already. If necessary, place a check mark in the open file after publishing. Let's click on that so it'll open it so we can see it. Click the Publish button to create the PDF uh, document. And I told you that I had already done this before, so that's why I'm getting this error message. But you probably won't because it's the first time you've done it. 
If necessary, click the Maximize button in the reader to maximize the window. And I'm going to click on full page. Yours may not look like this depending on how, what kind of reader you have because Adobe has different versions of it. And here's what it look, would look like to a person that would open it in Adobe. A PDF format. Okay. Click the close button on the reader bar to close the Jackman PDF. We just did that and we exited the reader. To open a PDF file from Word to edit it, we can also open that existing PDF file and actually edit that PDF file. So it says to open the backstage view and then click the open in backstage view to display the open screen. Then click on the file where we saved it. So we're going to go file, open, and I believe I saved it in the documents folder, but it's right here. Let's see, it says PDF. If yours isn't there, uh, you may need to uh, go to your PC and then go to your documents folder and then look for it. WD Jackman resume. It's going to open it. It's going to tell me that because it's a PDF file, Word needs to convert it back to a Word document. Now, I normally would not do this because we already have the PDF or the document open. But say, for instance, uh, you couldn't find your original document, but you have a PDF and you want to modify it because your phone number changed or something, you could go in and do it that way. So we're going to open our PDF into a Word document. Remember, this was a PDF file. Now it's a Word document, so when Word reconverts it, some of the stuff changes. So you're going to have to do some modification to, uh, to the document again, because anytime you open a document in a different format, it's going to uh, mess it up sometimes. So So we opened it. It says it will begin converting the document. We did that. Uh, print layout view on the viewing. On print layout view. Okay, if you wanted to save a Word document as an XPS document, you would perform these following steps. But we're not going to do it because it says if. Okay, to check document compatibility, Word enables you to determine if a document is compatible or work with an earlier version of Word. So we're going to go back to our Jackman resume. So we're going to close this PDF that we had open, that we converted, and we're going to go back to our Jackman resume, and we're going to click Check for Issues, File, Information, Inspect document. Inspect document. Oh, you know what I'm doing? I'm not doing the right inspector. Information, inspect document. We're wanting to check compatibility. So I want to check the compatibility. So check for issues. Uh, we're wanting to see if it's going to be compatible with a previous version of Word. Check compatibility when saving documents. Click OK. So those are the things that would have to be changed if we wanted to save it as an uh, earlier version of Word. To save, now we're going to save Word in an earlier version. So we're going to open the backstage view, and we're going to go to export again, and we're going to go to change file type. We have a whole bunch of different file types we can choose from, and I'm going to spend a little time on that right now because a couple of the other steps later on talk about that. But it says click Word 97-2003 document. We'll do that in just a second. But we can also save it as a plain text or rich text format. Would not use those because it'll get rid of all of our formatting. It'll just be text. That'll be all it is. We can also save it as a web page, which we'll do later. 
Um, so these are also different things we can do. So we're going to go back to the 97-2003 document because that's what it tells us to do right now. Yours may look different than mine. See, mine has the 2003 document like this. I'm going to click the Save As button. And then it should pull up this doc, this uh, window, the Explorer window, and it's going to say Jackman resume. And here is the file type, 2003 document. You also have all your file types here too, so you can do it this way. This is a quicker way. You can just go File, Save As, and then go in here. You don't have to click the Export button. Okay. And then it tells us to click Save. We're going to save it. Now it's a 2003 document. Now we still have our original one. You know, the compatibility checker dialog box displayed, click its continue button. Now it's going to remove these things uh, for this version of uh, the document we're saving. Okay, let me see if I have them both open. I don't think I do. Nope. Okay, the 2003 version I don't think is open anymore. Um, so now it says you're finished with the word 2003, the format of the resume. So now close the document. And right here, the SAM says to upload it. So this is where you would upload your assignment. The rest of this chapter is optional. 